De 11e Tweedaagse Geologische Conferentie is woensdag afgesloten. De conferentie is georganiseerd door het ministerie van Natuurlijke Hulpbronnen in samenwerking met professor Theo Wong van de Antelecom Universiteit en de Australische Mineral Industries Research Association. Paul Mason is in zijn afsluitingspresentatie nader ingegaan op de Marowijnen Greenstone Belt. Samen met zijn groep is hij in het district Marowijnen geweest om onderzoek te doen over het geologisch gedeelte van het district. And why don't we find any sulfate anywhere? We should have a lot of sulfate this time, and we don't see it. The clastic sediments are also really important. We should do some iron speciation. We want to know what the redox conditions were in the water column. Uh, we can look at uh, high field strength elements, of course, to look at uh, sedimentary sources. Again, carbon isotopes and sulfur isotopes, these are all things which are going to tell us about these surface conditions. And then, Obviously, we've already started a detrital zircon study to look at what these rocks represent in terms of uh, depositional environments and sources. So here's a, here's a photograph of the Rosabel conglomerate. We found this on Sunday afternoon. And actually, really interestingly, there's clasts of jasperite in the conglomerate, bright red jasperite with oxidized iron. What's that doing there? What does it mean? Clearly, we had some very exotic and shifting redox conditions at this time. Paul Mason, geoloog en laatste spreker die een eindpresentatie gaf over de Marowijnen Greenstone Belt. Woensdag is de tweedaagse geologische conferentie die voor de elfde keer is georganiseerd afgesloten in de bankethaal van Hotel Torarica.